saw. Panic, chaos, and terror. Were you surprised by the images that we've seen over the last few weeks? I was not. Um, when Mr. Trump made the deal with the Taliban, uh, before he left office, it was inevitable that the government would lose its legitimacy because he was the, the closest ally of that government talking to the government's enemy. So it was inevitable that uh, the Taliban had been selected by the United States to be the successor to this government. Um, what did surprise me though was the way that the withdrawal took place. The, the sheer, I don't know how to use, which word to use, you know, whether uh, incompetence, uh, carelessness, uh, bad management, uh, it was all a combination of those things when they've had such a, a t long time to prepare for the withdrawal. And 20 years. Well, indeed, you know, the experience was there, but something went wrong. So the, the, that was the surprising aspect of what happened in Afghanistan. We're talking about billions of dollars of US made weapons, everything from Black Hawk helicopters uh, to night vision goggles left behind by the Afghan army and now presumably um, in the hands of the Taliban. And while I doubt that they're gonna be flying the Black Hawk helicopters themselves, these weapons could presumably make their way outside of Afghanistan, end up in the hands of state and non-state actors. How worried about that are it's, you? It's very worrisome. Yeah. As much as the Taliban's still standing engagement with Al-Qaeda, uh, which is also worrisome because, you know, Al-Qaeda targeted the kingdom first before anybody else back in 1995. The first uh, terrorist attack that Al-Qaeda took was against the kingdom before they expanded their, 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 their activities outside, whether it was in the uh, uh, embassy bombings in Nairobi and Dar es Salaam or subsequently in 9-11 and in New York. So uh, it is very worrisome, that aspect of it. And now with this weaponry <laughs> that the ally of Taliban, Al-Qaeda, may get some their hands on, yeah. it's going to be even more worrisome. How do you see that playing out in the sense of cleaning up the mess? Will Saudi Arabia, do you think, have to take a lead role in that? The Pakistanis are going to have to take a lead role. How worried are you that there's not going to be a coordinated effort to deal with this, given the chaos we've seen? I think the, the countries that have to, to, to engage in that aspect are the countries that are closest to, 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 the, to Afghanistan. Pakistan, Iran, Russia, and China. They're the ones now who are still represented in Afghanistan. And we've seen the, the Russian ambassador and the Chinese ambassador, the Iranian ambassador, the Pakistani ambassador, each of them um, not only remaining in, in, in Kabul, but making statements about future relations with the Taliban. What I found most interesting in these statements is that all four countries have said that they, they await the conduct of the, of the Taliban before they take any serious decisions about engagement with the Taliban. Um, and each country has its own interests in, in, in Afghanistan. Um, before the fall of the government, when the Taliban were closing in uh, to, to Kabul, uh, there was a statement from, from an Iranian uh, uh, spokesman who said that, I think it was Zarif actually, the former foreign minister, who said, well, we'll be happy to send our, uh, the Afghan militias from Syria to help the government against the Taliban. That was, uh, of course, the then government of, of, of Kabul protested that this was interference. Ashraf Ghani's government. Yes. yes. Uh, so it shows you that, that Iran has some influence, at least, in there. Uh, Pakistan, of course, has been a major supporter of the Taliban, but they also tried to have some engagement with the, with the Iranian government. Um, that did not go far. Mm -hmm. um, China received a representative of the Taliban before the fall of Kabul, as did Moscow. So there is something going on between the Taliban and these countries, 
about where they're going to go in the future.